A lot of people wonder when they start cloth diapering is how I'm going to organize my changing station. I know I asked a lot of questions because, you know, with regular diapers, you just kind of throw them in a, um, a diaper changer and with some wipes and that's it. Well, cloth diapers do take up a little more space, so you got to be pretty organized with them to make your um, diaper changing a lot easier. So this is how I organize my diaper changing station and my diaper bag. Well, up here I have like a little shelf here that I keep wipes in. Of course, here in a couple weeks, I'm actually pretty excited. I'm getting um, cloth wipes sent to me, so no more of these for me. Um, I keep my lotion, some um, extra liners, some baby powder, hand sanitizer, some rash protector, and butt paste. This is a must-have when cloth diapering. Of course, you really don't need much because, as you know, with cloth diapering, you don't get as many rashes. But, you know, you still run into some. This stuff's really good because it's white, it's um, all natural, and it does not stain your cloth diapers. It doesn't leave buildup on them. So, I really like that. Um, I keep an extra snappy because that's how I do most of my night diapering. I have just like little medicinal stuff, Q-tips, no sucker, you know, just the usual. And then here I keep all my doublers. Um, I use these a lot when I do pre-folds because my daughter has very sensitive skin. So even with a cloth diaper, if it's just a regular pre-fold, I like to have a fleece lining. And then here I keep all my night covers. Um, my cousin sent me most of these from California. She's so nice. A couple of them are mine. Um, because I bought some that were too big because I don't listen. <laughs> this is my favorite night cover. It is a side snap, so again, you have to use a snappy with it, but it's got the nice fleece lining, and it's super comfy and soft. I always swear she sleeps longer and better when she's in that particular cover. And then shoes and socks and whatever, whatnot. Here is all my diapers. I'm a huge fan of fuzzy buns. I think they give a very trim butt. They're really, you know, I, call, I like to say they're daddy proof and grandma proof because they're easy to put on. They have a fleece lining. They're super soft and absorbent and they come in all kinds of fun colors. And then I also love my monkey doodles. Monkey doodles, these are all in ones, no pocket, no prefold, nothing. Again, daddy proof and they feel like a cloud. These are a little bit more expensive, but definitely worth the investment because they last forever as long with. Same with fuzzy buns. And then I have more covers. Again, my cousin has sent me a lot of hers. And a lot of mine are in the laundry right now. But my favorite are Thirsties and Bummies. And this is a Bumpkins. And just a few. I like to use these a lot when I'm just at home. I use these with pre-folds because, you know, I'm home and I don't really need the pockets. I use these a lot when I'm out and about. And then this will be my little thing for all my cloth wipes when I get them sent to me. I'm really excited about that. And then some more liners. You know, I need to use these more because they make um, dirty, poopy diapers a lot easier to change. And then down here, I have some Under the Niles back there. Um, Under the Niles are fitted diapers. You still need a cover to go over them. They work excellent for night diapering. Riley's a little big for them, but I can still use them, actually. just um, I just don't Velcro them, and they kind of go on like a pre-fold would, so they still work. And some G-diapers back there, a couple with some liners. Those aren't my favorite, but they still work, and I still do like them. These are my night diapers. Um, I pre-stuff every one with a night doubler. These are the Stay Dry Night Doublers. You can get a Green Mountain Diapers. I like these. Nothing gets through these. So I keep it so all I have to do is grab a diaper, grab a cover, and I'm good to go. A lot of people who don't start off using cloth diapers like I did, they started off using Pampers or Huggies, you know, think, oh, no, this thing goes to waste, when really it doesn't. I still use mine. I um, fold a pre-fold in half. And I just stuff them in there. Of course, a lot of my stuff's in the laundry now, and it just fills up. So I still get to use my cute little stuff. And that's my changing station. I do pre-stuff all my pocket diapers. I feel it makes it easier. Yes, it's a little time-consuming, but when it comes time for a diaper change, my daughter's almost a year old. She wants in and out. No playing. So we have to be quick with it. And that makes it a lot easier. 
And then here is my Dear Bradley diaper bag. I have like four diaper bags because now that I'm my mom, I'll hardly ever carry a purse. As many of you moms know, your diaper bag becomes your purse. So I like to switch in and out. So here's my Vera Bradley. In the front, just have some med stuff with medicine in it. Some organic um, wipes for like her hands and face. Some Clorox wipes to like clean off the table when you're at like a restaurant. Of course, your butt paste. And a little bit of baby powder. Then my mommy pocket has my wallet in it. Then inside, I used to carry tons of stuff, and I, everyone used to make fun of me for it, but I've really scaled down now. I hardly carry anything. Couple, you know, pocket diapers. These are my fuzzy buns. Some snacks, a bib, a couple toys. And then um, Vera Bradley makes it to where they match all their diaper bags. It's really cute. It's called a Diddy bag. It's waterproof drawstring bag that works great to put all your soiled diapers in and soiled clothes and bibs and everything and it matches so it's you know super cute and then in the back I keep my some more wipes which again I'll be switching to cloth wipes here shortly and then my changing pad nothing big and fancy keep it simple you know the least that you know is less is more when it comes to a diaper bag I've learned that I used to carry everything but the kitchen sink um, well, that's pretty much it. That's my changing station and my diaper bag. And there's my daughter trying to get out. Riley, can you say hi? Say hi. You going to wave? <laughs> She's trying to get out. Well, I hope that helped everybody.